everyone, it's Ryan, and I apologize that I couldn't make a video last week. I was on the East Coast doing a couple of speeches and concerts and TV show things, so I apologize that I couldn't make a video for you all. Anyway, today's topic is online dating. I don't really have much experience in online dating besides for some funny things that my friends have told me about it. One of my friends who is a gay guy, frequently uses the site Grinder. I don't know if anyone's heard of it, but it's basically a site for gay guys. And he tells me like all these crazy things about it, how there's a bunch of married men on it, and these are guys that are married to women, so it's kind of strange. Um, there's a lot of closeted people on Grinder. It's very interesting. And also a lot of the people on there just want to hook up and they, they aren't really looking for a relationship. And the few people that he has met on there have been kind of rude. So online dating isn't going so well for, for that friend. One of my other friends actually met their partner online on a dating site. I don't know which one. But, I mean, as far as like queer people and online dating, it's like a lot of sites exclude queer people from being allowed to online date, which is ridiculous. Come on, it's 2012, are you serious? So this is eHarmony, and I was just playing around with the homepage uh, a little bit, and it like basically decides your sexuality for you. So right now it says woman seeking men. So if you change this to, say, a man seeking men, it automatically changes it to, I am a man seeking women. And if you change it back to woman, I'm a woman seeking men. Uh, however, you can go in and change it. I don't know if it will work when you do find my matches or whatever, but it is trying to choose your sexuality for you before you even get to decide. I, cl I click man, it'll automatically change it to woman. It wants me to be straight. So, it's kind of ridiculous. eHarmony.com, you suck. For me, I wouldn't personally date online. I wouldn't, like, trust meeting someone online, and... I don't know, it just seems really creepy to me. It's like, you could be talking to someone that uploaded a picture, a picture of someone else, and then you go to meet them in person, and they look completely different, and they act completely different than they did online, and they're just completely scary and it could be like a serial killer or someone and I just would not trust it um, especially at 18 years old and being transgender however I do have a girlfriend and I mean I guess this kind of is considered a, a form of dating online but uh, I met my girlfriend last last August uh, 2011 and we lived 3,000 miles apart so Eventually, uh, you know, the week we met, we, we hung out and everything, and we were already together. And then we had to, like, we were basically, like, thrown into this long-distance relationship, which we had to Skype and do that sort of thing, just to be able to communicate with each other, because we couldn't see each other very often. Kind of a form of online dating. However, we did meet each other in person and spend a lot of time with each other before we got into a relationship. As a transgender person, it does seem a little scary. And I, frankly, I, I don't need to do any online dating because I have a girlfriend. <laughs> but if, if anyone has any questions about the long distance relationship stuff, you could always you know message me on Tumblr or you could ask questions that I could answer for next week's video. That's really all I have to say about online dating. I'm sorry that I don't have a lot to say about it, but it's not something I experienced, really. So, alright, thank you for watching, and I will be here next Friday to answer all of your questions. Peace.